Hi guys, it's Almosi here, so welcome to another apartment renovation. So today I'm back renovating this apartment, which is another city living apartment. It's one of the Culpepper House apartments, but as always, I'm not sure the address. So if you look on the top left hand side of the screen, you can see the address and if you want to place it in your game, that's where it goes. So for this apartment, I am creating something that is very Christmassy and I am actually using custom content again and this time I'm using custom content by Max20 and I don't think I have ever seen such Maxis match custom content before. It's like more Maxis than Maxis. It's so cartoony but the textures are somehow realistic and you feel like you could almost reach out and touch them. They're so, they're so good. Such high quality really nice custom content and I can just highly recommend it if you guys have never heard of him before um, I highly recommend that you check it out I will have links to his patreon page in the description box so you guys can download all of his custom content I just went through and downloaded everything that is available it looks like there's a new set coming up that is like a patio themed set and so I'm really looking forward to that one and I'll definitely be using it uh, once it's out um, but anyways something that I should probably mention before I get too far into the video my son is actually joining me today in the voiceover because he is sick and does not want to be away from me because then he cries so <laughs> if you hear anything in the background he's sitting next to me having some pears and yeah he's a bit sick so he might make some noise well he might make some noise anyways because he's quite the little quite the little jabber but he turned one the other day and I'm just I'm so thrilled, he's so big and so cute, but he is sick and so it's really sad. I feel so bad for him and it's like his first real cold. Like he's had like little things here and there, but nothing like an actual like full on cold before. So it's so sad. But anyways, so for this apartment, like I said, it's a Christmas themed apartment. The custom content that's Christmas themed by Max 20 is so good, like this fireplace with the stockings and the garland draped over is so cute and I love the chandelier with the Christmas decorations and all the stuff is just so so good and so cute and so high quality like I am so impressed with how Max's match it is like I like I, I'm not like a huge alpha fan some things I can appreciate just because they're nice looking uh, but I like I like things to be a bit more cartoony I think it just it looks nicer with the game and I think it looks nicer in general and a lot of the custom content that I use I feel like it's like a hybrid somewhere in between Max's match and somewhere in between alpha Mo it's like closer to the side of Max's match but this is like so Max's match so cartoony like it looks like it could be in like Mm, like a Pixar movie or something. I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree. But anyways, I started off by decorating the living room. I used this couch that came from Cats and Dogs. I feel like it's the perfect couch for like a Christmas build because it has all the pillows and it feels so cozy. It's not exactly Christmas colors, but it's not exactly not either. So I feel like it works really nicely and you could of course um, use it when you're not having your home decorated for Christmas. Um, but over here I'm decorating the top of the fireplace. There's a snow globe that came in the CC that I downloaded, which is so cute. I used it so many different times in this build. And I think this whole like fireplace area turned out to be so adorable. But yeah, so um, there's this living room, of course. There's a dining room. The dining room is going to be the part of the apartment where you first walk in through the front door, which is not always my favorite spot to have a dining room, but I feel like for... Uh, this build it works and then just on the other side of it is going to be the kitchen area and there's a custom content kitchen set that I'm going to be using which is probably the cutest kitchen I have ever used in my whole life building in the sims it's so adorable um, and then there's also going to be like an office space through this door this door came from the industrial loft kit in case you guys aren't familiar I could highly recommend that pack I really like the stuff that came with it and this door especially is so so good I wish we had like a closed version of it though I feel like that would be really nice but either way through there there's going to be another fireplace a desk a chess table uh, some more bookcases I feel like the family that lives here really enjoys reading a lot and maybe knowledge maybe one of the parents or both of them are like professors or something um, and then I also added some brick accents, which I thought was nice and very Christmassy. And then there's going to be one bathroom and then three bedrooms. There's going to be the parents' bedroom. And then there's also going to be um, two kids' rooms. I don't think I put bunk beds in either one. Well, no, I did one kids' room. I was thinking about doing like two kids in the room, but I ended up just placing a single bed and then a room for a teenager. Um, but yeah, over here is going to be the kitchen. So as you can see, this kitchen set is so cute I love the colors and like the wooden top it's so nice and it's just such 
just a cute set and such nice textures and I really really like it a lot I also like the stove and refrigerator I thought those were pretty cute and I think this kitchen just ended up being just so just adorable I don't know let me know if you guys agree and right now I have this round dining table but I got rid of it just because I felt like it looked a little bit awkward in the space and so I ended up using a rectangle table which I think just makes so much more sense and Right here on the island, I placed this base game kitchen sink. I did not realize that there was a kitchen sink that came with this set. I ended up using it in the bathroom though, and I feel like in the bathroom it actually works pretty nicely, even though I feel like it looks more like a kitchen sink. Um, so, I mean, you could easily swap those out if you prefer, but I think it looks really cute in the bathroom, so I decided to leave it there. Um, but yeah, here in the dining room, I have an archway that leads to the hallway to the bedrooms and the bathroom, and I put this nice little, like, um, china cabinet that came from Cottage Living. I felt like it matched the decorations really nicely in here. The chairs that I'm using at the dining table also came from Cottage Living, and I think the chair came from Get Together? If I remember correctly, I try really hard to remember which pack things come from, and I think I'm getting that right, but sometimes I'm off or I misspeak. Sometimes that happens. What are you saying, mister? He's almost finished his pears. He loves pears <laughs> so much. Um, they're probably his favorite snack. So uh, anyways, um, there I just placed some decorations by the entryway, a side table, and then like a coat rack and an umbrella rack. I felt like an umbrella rack was so necessary to have in the winter season. I mean, I think here in San Marcino it snows a lot, but maybe it rains sometimes too. Either way, I feel like it's a nice thing to have. So on the kitchen table, I really tried adding like extra clutter decorations. Recently we got an update that gave us these salt and pepper shakers and the fruitcake tray but I felt like it was making the kitchen table way too crowded because I already had all the Christmas decorations on there so I ended up just putting those in the kitchen and I think that worked pretty nicely and then over here I have a couple of shelves which I think look so cute I just placed like random decorations and clutter items and a few extra Christmas things just to add even more Christmas decorations this isn't supposed to be as Christmassy as the family home that I just shared hopefully you guys did like that build by the way but that one was supposed to be like Christmas like threw up on the build basically this one's supposed to be a bit more subtle but still very Christmassy <laughs> and so um, I think I achieved that though um, but yeah over here is going to be the kitchen like I mentioned I just add some functional items in here like a microwave and a teapot but mostly it's purely just like decorations and clutter items I especially like that custom content fruit bowl with the apples in it I think it is so so adorable and well all of the custom content is so good like I want more like when I was downloading it I wanted more sets like I was like I could download like a hundred more sets of the CC like it looks so just good let me know if you guys agree with how Maxis match it is like I feel like it looks like just more Maxis than Maxis I feel like that should be his like tagline <laughs> um but yeah, I also really like this bread box. I thought that was pretty cute over here. And I tried to make it feel fully decorated, but not messy or too cluttery. And I think I achieved that. I did leave the counter space next to the stove to the left empty. I placed a couple of like cutting boards there, um, which I tend to do when I try to make like a counter space feel like it has decorations there, but it still makes it functional because the cutting boards actually snap to the wall and not the counter surface. Um, so it's a nice way to add like clutter without taking up counter space. Um, but yeah, here I'm just playing around with the decorations, trying to make sure everything has a place and it looks um, nice, I think. And I really love that fruitcake that's been like bitten into a little bit. I think that is such a nice decoration. And also the aprons that came in the most recent update, they came with the fruitcake and the salt and pepper shaker and a few other items. They're so cute. And there's like neutral swatches as well as like holiday themed swatches. So I feel like they're so versatile and can be used in like all different types of builds. I wish they would have came as single aprons rather than in a pair, but I feel like that's just so typical of the Sims team to put things stuck together rather than leaving them separate um, but it would make them a little bit more usable if they were single aprons but i'm not mad about it because they're really cute and i'm going to use them a ton but yeah if you guys aren't seeing the new items if you've been like filtering by the holiday pack they actually didn't come in an update to the holiday pack they came to base game instead which i think is kind of weird i would have thought that they would have came as an update to the holiday pack since all of our other like holiday themed updates have 
been added to the holiday pack. I'm not exactly sure. It's a free pack. If you guys don't have it, I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, here I am decorating the office space. So in here I added some bookcases, another fireplace. This fireplace comes in a lot of different variants, a lot of different colors, um, and several options with just the, um, with, with just the stockings or the stockings and the garlands or a plain one like this. So there's a lot of different options. They're not just holiday themed. Uh, but yeah, in here I get a computer desk, a chess table, and I think like a chair. I was trying to add two, like two chairs in front of the fireplace, but it was a little bit awkward trying to add the chess table also. So I just put one chair in the corner and then I also end up adding a jukebox stereo, which I thought was pretty fun and I don't use it very often. So I thought that was kind of just like something different to add in here. I also ended up adding the globe bar, which I thought fit in perfectly. What are you saying? <laughs> um, fit in perfectly. And yeah, I don't know. I thought it just ended up looking super cute in here. It just very like traditional and cozy and um, yeah, I don't know. I really enjoyed decorating this style. I feel like with apartments, I tend to go quite modern or somewhat traditional but more like cozy homey but not this like traditional and I felt like it was a nice change of pace and it was so fun to decorate this way so hopefully you guys like it as much as I do and I also really liked adding the typewriter computer I don't use this very often it came with cottage living I believe but I thought it looked so cute in here and it fit the style perfectly so I was really happy about that and then over here next to this chair I have a lamp and this adorable side table and I put like a few decorations on top of it I also ended up putting a pet bed in here. I placed a food bowl in the dining area. I think off camera though, I think when I was taking the screenshots, I realized that there should probably be a food bowl somewhere if there is a pet bed. And I thought that would be like the perfect spot for like a little dog to lay next to the fireplace. I thought that was so cute. Um, but yeah, over here on top of the fireplace mantle, I add some more. Uh, Christmas decorations, some Christmas cards, and I love these reindeer so much. They're so cute sized down. It's just decorations. I think they're so, so cute. And yeah, since I was using platforms in here, I was struggling with move objects because everything wanted to snap to like different levels. Um, so I made it work though. I think just placing stuff in like the slots and moving them around ended up working pretty nicely. But typically I just like to move the surface away and place things where I want to place them and then move the surface back. And it's so much easier, but with platforms, it makes it a lot trickier. Um, I like them though. They're one of my favorite features in the game build wise, but they have their problems. <laughs> um, yeah, over here is going to be the hallway. So in the hallway, I have another bookcase, uh, this side table where I add some more Christmas decorations. I also end up placing one of the cross stitching displays. I'm not exactly sure what those are called necessarily, um, but I do go through and have my sim uh, well, I cheated basically all of the patterns into her inventory. If you have testing cheats on, by the way, and you shift click on the cross stitching box, you can fill your Sims inventory with every possible pattern that's in game. It is so handy and I use it all of the time. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't find any that were holiday themed necessarily, but I found one that fit. Um, but over here, I'm just picking out some wallpapers for the bedrooms and then decorating the bathroom. The bathroom is fairly simple. It came together quite easily. I decided to do this half wall trick again, or not half wall, the platform trick again, where I filled in some of the spaces to create like a built-in around the shower. I did this recently in an apartment in Evergreen Harbor and I thought it looked so good and a lot of you guys said you liked it as well. Um, so yeah, I thought that looked nice in this apartment too and ever since I did it in that apartment, I've been wanting to do it again. But yeah, in here I place a shelf next to the mirror where I place um, some more Christmas decorations and some like bathroom clutter and just things that I thought would look nice basically. And I decided to bring the counters that I used in the kitchen into the bathroom as well. And this is the sink that I was talking about. So I think it's very clearly supposed to be a kitchen sink, but I think it works in a bathroom too. And I love how that towel is just like draped over the edge of it or the little rag. It's such a cute detail. And I just, I love stuff like that. You guys know how much I love like throw pillows and like blankets on furniture and that sort of detail is like just as good in my opinion, if not better because I've never seen that before. So it's so good. Um, over here, just place some uh, towels and some robes, nothing too crazy, nice and simple. And then over here is going to be the parents' bedroom. So in here, I placed another fireplace because the CC fireplace was like so cute to not use again. And then I also placed some beds in the other rooms, just trying to get an idea of how I wanted the rooms to be like laid out, like the position of the beds, and then also how many Sims are going to be 
living in this apartment and trying to get an idea of like their personalities and stuff this really like wasn't the apartment that i was so focused on like personalities or sims careers and stuff i was more just trying to decorate it to look cute for Christmas and cute with the CC. So hopefully I achieved that. Um, and then in the master bedroom, I also used this bed again. I used this in my last Christmas build because I think the swatches and like the style of it is so perfect for Christmas. In the last one though, I used the red plaid one because I felt like that was like the perfect bedding for a Christmas theme. This one, I just used the solid red. It's still Christmassy because it's red, but it's not plaid so I don't know I basically just wanted to do something a little bit different um then here I'm using some more platforms to create a different shape to the room and then I used two dressers next to each other in this this space um I wanted it to feel more like a built-in piece I struggled placing them though because they kept wanting to snap to the top of the platform especially this one on the right but I used the tool mod just to nudge it over slightly uh here I somehow got rid of it I don't know where I placed it but I was using the tool mod and it went somewhere to never be seen again. So I'm sure it's like out in the world somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, above the fireplace, I placed a TV again. And then I placed a little chair over here in the corner. I decided to use this chair that came from uh, Cottage Living because I really liked the green stripes on it. I thought that was pretty cute. And then I placed some more bookcases in here. I just used these base game ones. And then I decorate the top of the fireplace with some more Christmas decorations. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of nice and simple. And then that really cute, I, I'm gonna call it a garland. I don't think it's a garland because these decorations in the windows are garlands. But whatever that thing is above the door with the pine cones, it is so cute. It's from the free holiday pack. So if you guys don't have it in your game, get the holiday pack because it's such a cute decoration for Christmas. Um, we got over here on the dressers, I placed some Christmas decorations and some other decorations like these books. And I love those reindeer size down so much. And I also really liked using the nutcracker decorations on either end of the dressers. I thought those looked so cute like that. And then, yeah, I just placed some like picture frames some kind of like makeup clutter, some more Christmas cards, and just other decorations that I thought looked nice on these dressers. And I couldn't move them out of the way because I was worried that it was going to snap to the top of the platform again. So I left them there, um, but I think I made it work. And then I used this decoration again, the same one that I put above the door. And then I put a few clutter items over here on the bookcases, and then that's it for the parents' bedroom. So this room in the middle, originally I did have two beds in here. I was thinking about having twins in this room, but I decided not to because I wanted to add more activities rather than filling in the space with beds but you could easily fit another one in here if you would like to so in here you will really see a lot of custom content from max 20 like this little kids play tent i'm not sure if it's something that your children's sims can actually get inside of i imagine not i think it's purely decorative but it's so cute there's also a toy box some stuffed animals the bed, the lamp next to the bed, the little poof with the blanket draped over it. There's also some like star, um, I think star and heart shaped little pillows to throw on the ground. There's also a piggy bank, like everything is so cute and like, and colorful. Like I just, I am so impressed with how cute this stuff is. If you guys like kids room stuff, I feel like this would go really nicely with kids room stuff. Um, but yeah, I decided to place some actual kids room stuff bookcases in here. Um, I felt like it's like filled in the space nicely and I don't know, I thought it looked really cute in here. So I really enjoyed using the yellow and blue, by the way, I thought those paired nicely together and it matched the bed pretty perfectly too. Um, originally I had these shelves right here above the bed, but I decided to get rid of them and place some other decorations because I felt like they were a bit too bulky to have above a bed and you would probably sit up in the morning and like whack your head on it. Of course, you're sims won't do that but i just couldn't help but think of that so i got rid of it but yeah i think this room is so cute and i just really enjoyed adding those cc decorations um and then over here is going to be a teenager's room so this room ended up being more like a rosy pink color right now i have the rosy pink and a brighter pink but then i realized that there were so many options with this rosy pink color it's so cute i just love this color so much and i thought it paired nicely with this bed and i actually ended up using a wallpaper as an accent right here behind the bed it doesn't have the same wainscoting as this base game wallpaper that i'm using but I didn't mind too much because it's mostly covered up with the bed and the side table and you can't really see it, but I really enjoyed using the wallpaper and 
I think this room just ended up being so, so cute. I love the combination of the dark woods with this dusty, like, I'm going to call it a dusty rose pink. I think it is, but I thought it looked so nice together. And I also placed that coat rack that came from Snowy Escape just because I thought the colors went nicely together. It really kind of makes no sense in here, but it just matched the color scheme so nicely that I had to use it. Um, but yeah, I ended up using another one of these poofs, the same one that I used in the other kid's room that has the blanket draped over it. I felt like maybe it was a little bit weird using the exact same decoration in here but it's too cute to not use again um but yeah i really love this desk with all the sticky notes all over it it also has a um what do you call these boards at the back of the desk i can't think of what it's called right now um Oh, it's driving me crazy that I can't think of it. But either way, um, we have postcards that will snap to it in game. We also have a base game one. And so I do place a couple of postcards there um, as extra decorations. I tried rotating these little cushions to look like throw pillows, but I, I don't know. I wasn't quite rotating them correctly and it was messing with my brain on how to like actually rotate them to look like they were sitting on the chair. So I just, I gave up essentially. Um, but over here, um, I do add some decorations to the top of the desk because it has this nice little like shelf surface um, and a few just like clutter items around. And I think this room just ends up being so cute. And I especially really like the stuffed animals and that lamp. They're such cute decorations. The CC is so good, you guys. If, um, yeah, if you're not like a big CC person, I would highly recommend this one because they do go so nicely with the game. It's so Max's match and it's so adorable and so high quality and really easy to download. I will have a link in the description box, like I said, so you guys can download um, the custom content so easily uh, from Max20's Patreon page. But yeah, I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Here I'm just finding a bookcase to put over here in the corner. I decided I didn't really like the chair and stuff. So yeah, I got rid of it. But this is basically it for the um, apartment. This is basically it for this room. I hope you guys have enjoyed and hopefully you guys didn't mind my son joining us today. He's actually been fairly quiet. I only had to pause it a few times when he got too crazy. But um, yes, there's a little bit of noise in the background. Hopefully you guys didn't mind that too much. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the holiday season. Hopefully you guys are spending it with the ones that you love. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Man.